Hello students so in this video we'll be continuing with the topic of present tense and we'll be doing present continuous tense so let's begin with the rules for present continuous tense or present progressive tense simple present tense is formed with is am are plus root form of the verb plus ing okay when do we use is it is used with third person singular subject second am is used with first person singular and are is used with the remaining ones okay so whenever there is continuous tense how do we identify it we identify it with ing okay and according to the subject we will place is am and are now if we want to make the negative what we will do we will put a not after is am are for example i am not studying she is not sitting okay we have to put not after is am are and for interrogative what we do we use is am are before the subject for example is she studying are they playing is she eating okay in that way we make interrogative sentences now let's see where to use present continuous tense okay first is to express an action happening now at the time of speaking so if the action is going on when the person is speaking then we use present continuous tense for example i am looking out of the window she is preparing breakfast for her children means while the person is speaking this sentence the other person is doing that doing that work okay next is to express an activity in progress but not necessarily at the time of speaking so if an activity is going on but it is not necessary that it is being done at the time of speaking then we use present continuous tense for example the government is renovating the old food he is teaching hawaiian guitar to young children third is to express a definite plan for the near future so if there is a plan that is going to happen for sure in near future for example i am going to kolkata next friday okay i am meeting the mayor tonight so there is a definite plan then we use present continuous tense but you must note that the time of action must be mentioned in this case so if you are talking about a definite plan we must mention the time of action for example we have mentioned next friday tonight okay to express an undesirable habit like he is always complaining about his luck so it is undesirable habit in that case we use present continuous tense now students next we are going to read about some verbs that are not normally used with present continuous tense okay first is verb of senses like hear smell see notice etc for example i see a beautiful view at the horizon we do not say i am seeing okay this verb of emotions like want desire love dislike disrespect respect etc in those cases we do not use present continuous tense with verbs of thinking like think feel know mean remember etc i suppose pratibha is ill but i am not sure okay so we are here we are thinking we are supposing something in those case we do not use present continuous tense next is verbs expressing possession belongingness for example have own belong possess etc in those cases we do not use it like i have a pair of woolen gloves also with verbs like seem ap- appear contain consist keep etc these verbs are used in simple present tense rather than present continuous tense students sometimes however these words may be used in continuous tense but with a changed meaning for example the headmaster is seeing the students in the afternoon okay the judge is hearing the case tomorrow here see is seeing is used for meeting is hearing is used for the conduct of trial so when we have a different meaning we can use them in continuous tense we learn the difference between simple present and simple continuous that where we have to use which one so simple present is used for habitual actions general truths 
and permanent situations whereas present continuous is used for the real present now at this moment and for the temporary situations hope that you are clear with simple present and present continuous tense in the next videos we'll be learning about the next types of present tenses thank you students